what's going on guys welcome back to the channel this is asa speaks Zoe studio it's another retouching tutorial in photoshop okay so in today's tutorial we'll be looking at the selective color trick in removing hot spots in any image okay so let's dive right into the tutorial but what are hot spots hot spots are those brightest side the lax details and are clipping okay so how do we locate the selective color select color is under the adjustment layer this icon you click on it and you select the last one which is a selective color now the selective color let me quickly explain before we dive right into what we are going to be doing on the selective color for the colors we have so many colors the red yellow green cyan blue magenta white neutral and black now each color uh, is present in the image we have the white which is responsible for the white in the image we have the red which is responsible for the red in the image we have the cyan and the blues which is responsible for the blues and cyan in the image now let's say we choose yellow the sliders that are here the cyan magenta yellow and blacks the blacks is just responsible for the um, brightness of the of that color so if i take it towards the side it's going to have the opposite color let me explain for cyan the opposite of cyan is red the opposite of magenta is green the opposite of yellow is blue the opposite of black is white okay so, so for the yellows if i take this slider towards the cyan the label cyan is going to add the opposite color which is the red it's going to add that red to the yellows in the image so for instance i take it it's going to add the red to the yellows you can see it's adding red the opposite color if i take the magenta towards the magenta it's going to have the opposite color which is the green so take it you can see it's adding green if i take the yellows towards the yellow it's going to have the opposite color blue so if i take the black towards the black it's going to brighten the image because it affects the brightness so brightness is going to brighten up the yellow okay so let's better demonstrate this with the color um let's use the red instead now like i said if i take this slider towards the cyan it's going to add red more red so taking it as more red taking it back add more green um cyan sorry so for magenta if you take it towards the magenta it adds green if you take it backwards it adds the magenta same as the yellow take it towards the side adds blue take it further away it adds yellow so that's how it works so now we want to affect the white which is the hot spot in the image now for the hot spot we are going to use the black to decrease the hot spot the brightest side just a little bit take it down till we have that somewhere like plus five and now we're going to add colors to that white because right now the there are no details in the brightest side no yellows no blues no any other color in the brightest side so we need to add colors to that white so what are we going to add we had we need to add the colors of the skin what are the two main color of the skin we have the yellows and the um the red for light skin okay so we're going to add little red and we're going to add little yellow to it just like that and let's close it let's quickly compare our before and after with just that little adjustment so you can see that the hot spot is gone now we're going to create an adjustment layer another one which is going to be the selective color again and what we need to do is to mask out this color from the face so let's go ahead grab our brush to select this one and we're going to remove it from the clothes so it affects just the face alone make sure the foreground color is black and paint on it with black and i'm going to remove it from the background as well so it's focusing on the face now let's open up the next selective color adjustment now still on the white are they white present there are no more white present because we ended up removing the hot spots but we need to also make the skin tones look the way it is before so now select the red because i can see red we're going to use the red and the yellow this time around so now for the red i'm going to add more cyan like this and we can add some yellows 
go ahead go to the yellows and the same thing you can add more yellows and just add little red okay so go ahead go to the white and if you still feel like you can decrease the brightness of the white and that's it i'm going to group these two layer group them together select group and we can see before and after let's zoom in and we can see before and after so that's how to remove your light marks and hot spots sorry so thank you guys for watching see you in our next video